It is Monday. We're in Serbia at their training center. We're waiting to get into their the actual facility so we can get a workout this morning. And I'm looking at these signs. These signs are pretty interesting. They're kind of funny. Like this one. You can zoom into that. Hopefully you can see well enough. No guns, no dogs, no smoking. So, if you brought in a dog that was packing a pistol and smoking a cigarette, their head would probably spin. Then there's this other sign over here. So over here we got the intervention room and the toilet. Which I think is kind of funny. Having an intervention room. I don't know what they need to intervene in. What's going on. But I just think it's funny. I'll get a better look at this sign. See this sign. No guns. No dogs. No smoking. Don't you dare do any of those. Or you're in big, big trouble. We're driving on the street and these guys are just having a conversation in their car. It's like two cars. And then, see, and then he pulls out in front of us. <laughs> this is awesome. You just gotta love foreign countries, all the stuff that goes on. You can't, you can't have an experience like this in the United States. I'm not saying that everybody's gonna want an experience like that. I'm just saying you can't have it in the United States. But it's fun. It's always, uh, it's always an adventure. A lot of fun. This building's falling apart. They got it covered up with uh, this bank sign, but can't tell how well you can see. Oh, and I can't roll down my window. But you can kind of see the outline of the building, how it's just crumbling inside. I don't know if they did that or remodeling, what's going on. So we're stopped. We have a green light, but we're stopped, and these people have a green light. This traffic no, we jam. Have, we have a red light. Oh, we got a red light? Yeah, red light. Oh, we got a red light, I guess. They got a green light. I was looking at going further on. These people can't go anywhere. Now we have a green light, they have a red light. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Zip. We're going to downtown Belgrade. Here we are. There's the state building. Statue of a guy. And we're going to find a place to exchange some money. All I got is American dollars. And they like, uh, whatever. What's the money called here? Funny, funny money. I always feel anytime I go overseas, it's like you're playing Monopoly. Because you, dinars, dinars. But anytime you go overseas, I feel like it's Monopoly money because it's different than the dollar. And usually, a lot of these countries we can get a pretty good exchange rate. You're just not used to using the same currency, so it's not, it's not too bad. It makes it sting a little less when you buy stuff for some reason. When you buy something, you're like, oh, that was expensive. You really don't even know here. So it's not so bad. Here's McDonald's. All over the world. Always McDonald's. My dollars, now I got some dinar. That's right. I got 50, 100. See that? I'm rich. Got a little gift shop here on the street. Magnets, hearts, hats, shirts. Globes, uh, other stuff, all the touristy stuff you need right here, downtown Belgrade. Place this guy's playing the record. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's quite the recorder player. He's rocking that.
Yeah, dance. Go. <laughs> Stephen Forrest, everyone. Mad dancing skills. <laughs> the monument to who? One guy. Uh, his name is What did he do? <laughs> he, he's a hero, I think. A hero? Yeah, hero, and he. Uh, Edmund. He built a Turkey, or the play on Otra. He fight with a Turkish guy. Oh, yeah? He beat the Turkish. Ottoman Turks. Empire. Ottoman Empire. Before, Before it was Turkey. Oh, yeah. So he did enough to get bronzed. And this is this is the Serbian theater. This is no, this is a Belgrade theater. Oh, Belgrade theater. That's a Belgrade theater. This guy selling some obnoxious glasses. Thirty dinars. There's graffiti row. They got a ton of ton of graffiti here. They got some rows of that too out in the city. When we were driving here. There's a lot of people that tagged up everything. Like even over here, there's these buildings. I'll show you in a minute. We're coming up on it. See all that graffiti? It's not uncommon. It's just it's all over the place. See so even that little. Is that a mouse? Oh, mouse and oh, it looks like there's a bunch of it here. Yeah. So see, there's a lot of graffiti. Right there so if you're looking for a mural artist, I'm sure you could pick out a great one here in Serbia. And some other touristy trinkets. So we're headed to a castle right now. And we must be getting close by the looks of having all the touristy stuff around here. Should be cool. Here's a statue. This guy looks like he's killing a serpent there. He's choking it. And there's a whole bunch of other busts. Bronze busts of individuals that have done something of significance. And there's the fortress over there. I think we're going to get a little closer in a little bit. Oh, I guess we're going inside it. We're going to see what's over here. Our guides want to show us the city. Oh, looks like what we do. So we are looking down on Belgrade. Pretty nice view. Next stop, the port. Stray dog. <laughs> Likes his belly rubbed. There you go, puppy. <laughs> well, we'll never find out because I won't be here all day. There's the fortress. I think it's from the 12th to 13th century. That's pretty old. Wraps around right over there. Another monument. Oh wow, this fortress is big. <coughs> Oh yeah, there's cannons right there. It's pretty cool. This fortress is a lot bigger than I realized. I just walked in. I'm outside. It's huge. Here's a map of this fortress. We are here, a little red dot. You can see how big this thing is. It's huge. I'm sure, it's got a lot of stuff inside, a lot of history. See, there's a bridge going over the. Whoa. This used to be a moat, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's stairs over there. But anyway, looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can read that sign. I don't know how good the zoom is on this, but it says, Walking in this area, you risk your life. <laughs> That's their disclaimer. 
Looks like they've made some updates. <laughs> These tanks and guns. Unreal. Oh, they got a whole bunch of guns up top too. All on that side. It's unreal. Oh yeah. Oh man, who got that? Not me. Somebody uh found what our little buddy the dog left. Oh man. This is really cool. This place is huge. What's that? Dogs just migrate. Oh, yeah, I guess dogs like me. There's another one. We're in the old town now. Just going to find a place to get some something hot to drink and relax a little bit. Glad I got out of the room today. It's been nice. And I'm really hoping that wherever we go has a restroom. So I really got to go. Really bad. This restaurant is called This Old Hat of Mine. And it's a gypsy restaurant. We get a lot of art. Guys with hats. <laughs> and plants. I'm at the Trim Hotel here in Belgrade, Serbia. Getting ready for dinner. And we just got done working out. We had a great workout. Dennis Hall and Momir Pekovic took us to a workout, learned some things, and we have a dual meet tomorrow. I'm excited about that. But this is a shot of the dining room where we're eating. It's pretty nice. See? Nice tables. Got a bar there and everything. Some seats, so. It's pretty good. The food's been great. Thank you. And, uh, can't complain whenever the food's good. I'm always happy. So it's been a good trip so far. Had a good practice tonight. Get a good rest tonight. Then we got wrestling tomorrow. And then Wednesday, hopping back in a bus or a van, driving to Bulgaria, and getting ready to do some wrestling in the next couple days. And uh, that's about all I got to say right now. I'm tired. We got some pasta, some bread, and I had a salad. Some lettuce with some lemon and salt. It's pretty good food.